All right, folks, welcome back. I've got a question for you. Have you ever seen a one card deck? You know, if we go into the deck viewer here, you can see we just have the one card, this eight of clubs. Um, and sort of, you know, in the big deck viewer here, it's for whatever reason uh, aligned here on the left and then, you know, everywhere else empty. Now, uh, you know, how do we make this work? Well, if this is uh, a gold seal card, so it's got the gold seal on it, that means when we play it, it returns to our hand. So if we needed to, we could play it repeatedly. You know, you could play it three or four times in a round. Uh, you know, it doesn't need to give you that many points on its own if you can play it multiple times. Uh, this time we've got it leveled up to uh, level 10 here, level 10 high card, not super high, but you know, kind of a medium amount there. And we've got some jokers here to help with our scoring. Um, and so you can, you can totally uh, win with just one card. If you can win with any high card, you can win with just one card. Assuming that you go through all of these extra steps of removing all the cards from your deck. Now the question is, what happens if we take this one step further? So let's go, let's make this into a glass card. And you know, if this is a glass card with a gold seal, just like any other card with a gold seal, you can play it, it'll return to your hand, you can do that repeatedly, um, as long as it doesn't break. All right, it just so happens that this time, you know, in this instance here, the card ended up breaking. So now what? You know, if I go to my deck viewer here, instead of having this big, you know, rectangle that sort of takes up most of the screen here, we get this uh, skinny rectangle. Uh, the deck, you know, the space where the cards would normally be viewed is completely gone. Uh, this is what we have left over. No cards left in the deck. Here's another thing that's kind of weird. If you go into this Arcana pack, Okay, if I have no cards left in my deck, I don't draw any cards, I don't get to see any cards. Okay, that makes sense. If I click on the star here, this suit changer, I'm not able to use it because, you know, I can't select cards, so I can't uh, change the suit with the star card. However, okay, here's something that's a little bit peculiar. If I go down here, I can't skip. Which means, okay, if this were, I've got a star here, let's say this was death, and then over here there was a, a chariot, for example, or an empress. Uh, if I had all of these tarot cards that required me to select cards, then I can't select cards, I can't use those tarot cards, I can't skip, the game is stuck. Um, you're sort of locked out of the game. You don't lose, but you can't go forward either. Uh, luckily for us, we have the Hermit, which we can use. We don't have to select any cards to use the Hermit, so we're able to escape from the Arcana pack. Now what happens if we go further? What happens if we even, you know, go into the next round here? Ah, phooey, we lose. Uh, so maybe you've experienced this before. If you play all of the cards in your deck, you play all your cards, you don't have any cards left, then you lose on the spot. And so that's kind of what's happening here. Uh, since I don't have any cards, then I can't play anymore, so then I lose. So here's the question of the day. Can we both have a deck that has zero cards and at the same time still win? And maybe you figured out by now how we're going to do that. So if I play my last card as a glass card, I can play it. It'll give me enough points. I'll win the round. And then also, if that glass card happens to break at the same time that I play it and it wins me the round, then I'll be left with zero cards left in the deck. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to win the game with no cards left in the deck. All right, so this is a uh, seeded run here. So I've already sort of explored and routed everything. 
Um, we're gonna start by discarding some stuff. Uh, before I discard here, I'm gonna move the nine of clubs. Before discarding here, I'm gonna move the three of clubs. You know, so just a little bit of uh, shuffler manipulation, rearranging some stuff. Not super crazy, you know, if you've seen my other videos, it can get quite intricate, all of the different moves that we do. Uh, this time, we don't have to work too hard, and I will explain, you know, sort of what the result is, what we're going for. Um, when we get to the shop here, we've got only $10. I'm not able to buy both of these, 8-Ball and Blueprint, but, you know, something that's kind of interesting, uh, useful about this seed is I have this spectral pack, and if I open it up, we have Immolate to start. So it gives me the money I can buy the jokers that I want. And then, okay, if I go in here and I pick my Immolate, I've got three tens, two nines, and some other stuff here. All of the tens disappear. And so some of the shuffler manipulation that I was doing was uh, putting the tens into the uh, spectra pack so I can remove all of the tens at the same time. Uh, not all of the tens because, you know, there wasn't uh, 10 of clubs, for example. It wasn't in the first round, so I wasn't able to shuffle it around, uh, but I was able to get rid of the other tens. Now, before we move on, I wanna show you uh, something else. So you may know this, if you uh, let's say close the game and then you know continue or even without closing the game if we just continue here The shop will reset so it goes back to when we entered the shop. We had ten dollars. Here's the spectra pack I can go in and Take a look or if I wanted to I could you know just not go into the spectra pack I could sort of undo that after having already looked at what's inside. Okay, that's not what I want to show you you already know about that. Uh, here, we're going to, with the same cards, you know, no shuffling around. We're just going to take the same choice here. Immolate. We get a different result. It deletes the nines and we have the tens left over. And so, when you're doing these, like, very long, very intricate uh, seeded runs, um, the meta, let's say, or sort of the typical play pattern is to create save states. So, you know, just copy back up your save file at different points in the run. That way you don't have to always keep going back to the beginning. You can sort of load in at different places by keeping backups of your save file. If you do that, you know, it has the same effect as if I were to do this and, you know, sort of reload into the game. So one thing that's kind of weird that happens is with Immolate specifically, you get a different result if you load in. And so all I did was, you know, reload, continue where we left off. And now again, we get the different result with the tens being deleted. Uh, it's not, you know, it doesn't explore all possibilities. You can't just keep spamming the reload and try to get exactly what you want. It sort of toggles back and forth between two different possibilities. Uh, why that happens, I have no idea. I just know that's a thing to keep in mind. And so if you have, you know, some later on save state in your run, it may be in a place that is not achievable through sort of a continuous run without reloading when you do these save states. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Uh, here we go ahead and pick up the uh, eight ball and blueprint and then we'll move on. All right, in the next round here, I want to find my eights. So let's go ahead and discard some stuff. Uh, discard like this. And now we drew into, here's a full house. And so, you know, again, going back to the first round, uh, a little bit of the manipulation that I did was maneuvering the fives into this position so that we can not just play pairs of eights, but we can actually win the round with full houses. All 
All right, I wanna find more eights, so I'm gonna discard. Before I discard, I'm going to move the three over here. Uh, this three of hearts is going to be important, so we'll pay, uh, we'll remember that when we see it again. And then we draw into, here we've got three aces and two eights, so we've got another full house. That is enough points to win here. We also happen to get the moon suit changer, and so I can turn these into clubs and I can make a flush house if I want to, but this time I'm not going to. You know, in the past, you've seen a lot of my uh, seeded runs, we end up going for the flush house when we're doing eight ball stuff, you know, because it's really easy to play low scoring pairs of eights and then at the end of the round play just the one flush house to completely win the round in one hand. You know, whether we're going for a high score or not with a flush house, uh, you know, it is useful to have the one hand that wins it. Not just wins, but also contains a pair of eights. This time, you know, if I play the flush house, it'll go up here, I'll unlock the hand here, it'll, in the shop, when I open Celestial Packs, there will be series cards. I don't want series cards, I want instead uh, Pluto cards. Because right? when we get to the end, when we only have one card left in our deck, high card is the only thing that we can do, so we want to level up our high card as much as possible. If I have series cards, it makes it harder, not a lot harder, but a little bit harder to find my Pluto cards. And so, we're going to survive without the flush house. Also, if the end goal is to remove cards from our deck, we won't be able to play flush houses for very long anyway. So instead, I'm going to sell the moon. When I use the priestess here, I'm also going to sell Neptune, taking us up to $10. We do get a Pluto, which I'm going to use. Like I said, we want to level up our high card as much as possible. If we used the moon we wouldn't have the ten dollars we wouldn't get you know this is an extra point of interest here this should be fine here playing the full house instead of a flush house all right in the shop here we're offered another spectral pack so something that's kind of nice about this seed is there are several Spectral packs that show up in the shop. First one we took Immolate. This one, if you take the Aura, it actually gives you Polychrome. So we get a Polychrome Aura here. You could use this as a potential high scoring seed. That's actually how we found this seed. We used the Seed Searcher and we were looking for uh, high scoring seeds that have Polychrome Aura, Blueprint, and 8-Ball. And this happened to be one of them. Um, if, oh, okay, sorry. Uh, instead of doing that, you know, this time we're not trying to go for a high score necessarily. We're going for, you know, fewest cards in the deck. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna take this Ouija and I've said in my other videos, uh, you know, when I'm doing, let's say, a unseeded run, if I'm playing on a random seed, I don't like the minus one hand size. It just sucks. It's really hard to play if you have minus one hand, si hand size. It's harder for you to draw into the cards that you want. Even if we, you know, turn all these into the same card and you have the potential to make five of a kind, if you have minus one hand size, it's going to be a lot harder for you to find your five of a kind. And so it, I think the drawback is more than the benefit but this particular time if i first i'm going to move this three of hearts so remember i said that three of hearts was important uh you know we moved the three of hearts so that it ended up here in the spectral pack and then i'm going to move it here on the right before i ouija actually gives me all eights so if i want to do eight ball stuff here we go, here's a bunch of eights. And in this seeded run, the uh, minus hand size doesn't matter as much because we could do the shuffler manipulation uh, to sculpt 
our hands the way we want them to. Uh, now we've got started at four eights. Now we have 12 eights in the deck. Part of that is, you know, we're gonna do a little bit of shuffler manipulation so that the pack has no eights in it naturally and we get all new eights from it. All right, uh, we're also going to, we don't need these things we're gonna buy the abstract joker. If we reroll here, there's another abstract joker that shows up, so I'm just buying this, not for the scoring, but for the skip. All right, in the next round here, we can go ahead and play uh, a pair of eights, a pair of eights of diamonds, worth 208 points. Uh, we said we don't need the moon. We can make a gold card. And then we can play another pair of eights here. All right, so notice here, you know, pairs of eights worth 208 points. So if I play another one, that would be over 600 points. The round will end early. Luckily, here I have uh, this eight of hearts, this debuffed eight of hearts. So if you remember back, in the shop when we had the spectral pack this eight of hearts used to be my three of hearts and then ouija turned it into an eight and so that's why i wanted that three of hearts um, and i moved it into the particular position that it was so that it ends up here if i play this eight of hearts um, now with the debuff only 18 chips times however much gives me only 140 uh, giving me an extra hand possibly here and the way that I'm going to use this hand you know one way to remove cards from your deck Im immolate obviously uh, the hanged man tarot card removing two cards at a time I can also make glass cards and I'll use the fool right away to make a second glass card uh, before we end the round here I'm going to rearrange and do something like that All right, in the shop now, we can buy this stencil. Rerolling gives us a Pluto card. And then let's open up this Celestial Pack. Uh, on this particular seed, we did pick up two Pluto cards already, but you know, in general throughout the seed, there's not too many Pluto cards. Um, it's kind of hard to find them. And so in this Celestial Pack, we don't have anything that we want here. Uh, I definitely don't want Mercury because I want to be able to play lots of pairs of eights. Um, if they're worth more points, I don't get to play as many. So we're just going to skip here. Uh, Rerolling. make room for the Emperor. Emperor gives us Temperance. Before I use the Temperance, I'm gonna go into the Arcana Pack. And in the Arcana Pack, I'm going to take uh, Judgment here. So, you know, I could have opened the Arcana Pack. If I did Judgment, I would get a Zany Joker. Uh, by re-rolling first, I get the next one, which is the Scary Face. Uh, obviously not going to help our scoring if we don't have any face cards in the deck. Uh, this scary face, there's another copy of it. So I wanted that one uh, because it gives me a, a skip. All right, then we can finish up here. Now we can use the temperance. We can sell the lovers. And actually I'm going to sell this abstract. Right now it's giving me plus 10 molt. That's too much. Uh, we bought the abstract so that we can skip uh, the repeat abstract. And then now that we've already passed the repeat, we can go ahead and safely sell it. All right, in the next round here, uh, I want to play a pair of eights. Here's two pair with the five. So instead of two pair, let's play a regular pair of eights. Uh, we get the hangman, so I could go ahead, take out a six and a five here. 
and then play another pair of eights. All right, uh, we've got Fool giving us another Hanged Man. And we've also got a death card here if we wanted to, you know, maybe make more eights. Uh, before we do that, let's move this seven over here for later. And actually, I'm going to discard here. You know, we've got in total uh, 12 eights in the deck. Uh, if I play four pairs, that's only eight eights. So I've got some extra. So actually, I'm going to discard these eights. And I'm going to use my hanged man on the six and four discarding the seven will refill my hand and then now i'm going to use my death card and so you know here not only am i creating an extra eight but i'm creating an extra glass eight and so playing more glass cards hoping to break them and then remove cards from my deck that way let's play you know these glass cards uh times two could be worth some points so let's play the regular eights first all right we don't need the empress we can make a gold too and you know we can play four of a kind here before we do i'm going to move this eight to the right and one last operation here all of these glass eights of clubs, they may look indistinguishable to you and me, but sort of uh, behind the scenes, under the hood, uh, they are technically different cards. And the game, you know, keeps track of which one is which. And so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take these two on the right and I'm gonna swap them. I'll tell you why in a second, but here we're gonna swap them, play them, and then collecting six bucks from our gold cards. All right, uh, in the shop, I want to re-roll first so that I can pick up this hanged man and then now we'll open up the Arcana pack. All right, so notice here we've got Sun and then Fool and then this other stuff here. So if I had just opened the Arcana pack, I would have gotten Hangman as the first card, then Sun, and then Fool. And so here, Hangman and Fool in the same Arcana pack, you would only be able to pick one and not both. So by re-rolling first, I was able to separate them, able to get the Hangman by itself. So I could do this, I can get rid of the Aces here, and then use the, hang or use the Fool uh, to get an extra one. And we'll go in the Spectral Pack and do the same thing here. So like I said, again, another Spectral Pack on this seed. Uh, Ace and four here. I can do those. If we look at the deck here, we've uh, gotten rid of all of our Aces. Uh, one four left, one five left, and you know, these sort of thinning out here. All right, uh, the other operation that I want to do, okay, Ouija here, uh, I don't want. I don't want to reduce my hand size anymore. Uh, what I want is this gold seal. So we saw it at the end, the gold seal card, so that when I have a few cards left in the deck, I can sort of play the card repeatedly. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. It just so happens that the gold seal ends up on my glass card. And so if the thing that I wanna do is I wanna break my glass card so that I can remove them from my deck, then I need to play the glass cards repeatedly. And so the gold seal allows me to play my glass card repeatedly. All right, we can get rid of the Empress and then go into the next round. All right, we're gonna start off with, here is a pair of eights. Always it's gonna be a pair of eights. Uh, here we've got the sevens. And so if you remember back to the previous round, uh, we did a little work with the sevens, you know, moving them around and then discarding them uh, so that not these sevens, but there is another set of sevens that I can use my strength to turn into eights. 
And so, you know, even earlier on in the run, uh, there was a possibility of sevens ending up in the um, the Ouija pack that, you know, turned all of my cards into eights. And so I had to do a little manipulation so that there were no sevens uh, turning into eights because I wanted to later on have the possibility keep the sevens so that I can turn them into eights with strength cards. All right, uh, before I play these eights here, I'm going to move the three on the left here. You know, just some flavor of shuffler manipulation. Here, let's... I got the strength card to go with my sevens, so let's dig for the other seven. There it is. And then let's play a pair. Um, I could do, you know, any pair here, but I want to play my uh, glass card. Play it as many times as possible uh, to break it. All right. Um, let's discard first. Then we're going to make a lucky card. Sell the lovers. And then there, you know, so we had, it was a nine of hearts and then an eight of hearts. We threw away an eight so that we could draw a different eight. We're going to play uh, not four of a kind, but we're going to play three of a kind. So there, you know, these different uh, possibilities so that we can sort of arrange things the way that we want. All right, one note about the shuffler manipulation stuff. Um, so normally you can, you know, rearrange stuff that you play. You can rearrange stuff that you discard and you can also at the end rearrange stuff that you don't play. And so, you know, at the end of there, we were left with the six of clubs and the two of clubs, you know, the two gold cards. You can move those around uh, before you play your card. However, if you have, if you have this gold seal card, then after the round, after you've already played your stuff, it returns to your hand and when it's placed into your hand it rearranges your hand uh, back to you know whatever uh, sorting by rank or sorting by suit or whatever it is um, so whatever you know sort of rearrangement that you try to do uh, before you play the card it's undone and so it takes a takes away that uh, manipulation possibility having the gold seal card return to your hand and then rearrange things automatically. All right, for us in this shop, we have yet another spectral pack. And with this spectral pack, we have yet another immolate. And so, you know, we're already down to 25 cards. Minus five is gonna be 20 cards already uh, in round five. Uh, before we do that, I'm going to make this eight into gold while I have the opportunity. And then, you know, you see there we got rid of the eight of spades and we ended up with the red eight. Eight of diamonds and then six of diamonds. So once again here, um, if I wanted to, I could re-roll this. So we'll make the gold eight again, and then we'll emulate different cards this time, leaving us with the uh, eight of spades. Uh, I wanted the, I wanted to get rid of the six and then have the two left over instead of getting rid of the two and have the six left over. That was the option, right? It was eight of diamonds, six of diamonds, or eight of spades, two of spades. Those are the only two possibilities. It sort of flip flops back and forth between those if you keep reloading. Um, the reason why I wanted the twos is because with a pair of twos, I can play two pair. And then if I turn them into glass, I can use the two pair as a way of getting rid of them. Whereas if I have just the one six, I can't make a pair two pair of twos and I can't make two pairs of uh, sixes either. 
All right, uh, with that set up, let's just check the notes here. So we've got get rid of the lovers so uh, we can buy these. Reroll here before we open the Celestial Pack. There's no Pluto card. Once again, like I said, the Pluto cards are relatively sparse. Um, so we're going to take Mars instead. Reroll Juggler. And instead of using this, I'm now just going to sell it. But I will buy and use the Mars card. So what we're doing here, you know, as far as our scoring is concerned, we'll play pairs of eights until we run out of eights. And then when we get to the end of the round, we'll win with four of a kind. You know, we've already got it leveled up a couple times. All right, going into the next round here. First step, I have all of these eights. Instead of playing a pair of eights, I'm going to discard one because remember we have to play five cards and so if i have all eights then five cards looks like you know five of a kind eights or four of a kind eights and i don't want to play five of a kind and if i play four of a kind that would end the round so i want to try to play three of a kind instead so we discard um, and then this is what we get i can make a glass eight And then instead of playing this glass eight with the gold seal, I'm gonna play this glass eight because I know it's going to be broken. All right, next, let's use the emperor. Gives us a hermit. Once again, here I've got one nine, the rest of these eights. So let's get rid of one eight. And then now we can play three of a kind eights. You want to be slightly careful here with only 19 cards left in the deck uh, and you have to play five cards. You don't want to discard too much. And so that's why we're only discarding one card at a time. Um, and then, you know, with the help of the juggler, we have no problem seeing all of our cards, drawing all of our cards. All right, now here's the main technology for this run. You know, other than just we got a couple immolates that was kind of lucky. Uh, we did some hanged man with the fool, so get more hanged man to remove cards from our deck. Here's the actual technology that we're going to use to remove most of the cards from our deck. If I make a copy not just a glass card but this gold seal glass card now i can you know not just play it every once in a while in order hoping for it to break i can play it a ton of times that's what we're going to be trying to do making more and more of these gold seal uh, glass cards And here I can play four of a kind to end the round. Uh, if I play, you know, let's say three of a kind with this two, uh, then I only have three cards left over, so I don't have enough cards to uh, play an extra hand here. So I'm just going to end the round. Unfortunately, uh, this does end up breaking, but we will get more death cards later uh, to make up for it. All right, we've got a negative bus here. And so, you know, part of the uh, shop manipulation that we did, uh, the abstract joker, we bought it so that it would give us a skip of the duplicate. Uh, scary face, we gave us a skip also. So this uh, negative, it could have been an egg. It could have been a juggler. It ended up being the bus instead. We manipulated it moved it so that it ended up being the bus. All right, I want to get rid of this chariot. I don't need 
the face, I already got the skip, so I don't need the face anymore. Judgment gives me gratification. And then I'm gonna buy this bus. All right, in the Arcana pack, uh, here are all of my eights. In the next round, I want this one to be here. I want it to be in my starting hand, and so I found out that this position is in the starting hand. Uh, Emperor giving me temperance. All right, uh, we're gonna pass on the egg for now. You know, this is another one of those, uh, what is it, the, the shop cube manipulation. I wanna have the gratification and not the egg. So let's see here, reroll, let's pick up the earth, reroll two more times for mercury, and then one more time. So after a skip with the gratification, we get the burglar. All right, now things are really gonna start to take off. Now that we have access to the burglar and we can copy it with the blueprint, and then now with the gold seal cards, we can play, you know, not just four pairs of eights, you know, not just six pairs of eights, but we can actually play 10 pairs of eights, possibly. Assuming that they're not worth too many points. All right, in the Celestial Pack, we're going to pick up uh, another Pluto card, holding on to these so that we can skip. And then now that we got the skip that we wanted, we don't need earth and we definitely don't want our pairs to be worth more points. All right, in the next round, okay, don't forget to move this uh, blueprint back onto the eight ball. All righty. Let's play, let's see if we can get 10 pairs of eights, starting with uh, two eights of hearts. Here's that glass two that I was talking about. Mars, I will use. Mercury, I don't want. Now we've got the level four, four of a kind. All right, I'm gonna play these and then the two here. And then so, you know, if this were, we said a six instead of a two, I wouldn't be able to play two pair, but because I can play two pair, I can break this two. Uh, I'm gonna make a glass nine. Again, I have two nines left. So if I make one glass, I can play two pair. I can get rid of nine that way. And then this glass card here, I want to try to play it as many times as possible. Eh, sort of. So there, I played it because I know it's not going to break. $24 from Temperance here. I'm going to play the glass card again. I know it's not going to break. Uh, I can make another gold card before I play the glass card again. Once again, knowing it's not going to break. Now, if I do play it, it is going to break. So uh, I'm not gonna play the glass card. What I'm going to do is make this nine here glass. So I've got two glass nines. Uh, before I play those, let's play just a regular pair of eights here. Emperor gives us lovers and fool. Uh, I don't want another emperor. I think we can do better. So I'm going to sell the lovers, holding on to the fool. Now we're at the point where I've run out of eights here. You know, I could play a pair of eights, um, you know, with my gold seal card or whatever. Uh, it'll return to my hand, but then we'll run out here. So I'm going to do it this way. Let's play eight 
nines, eight, and then it turns out also I'm gonna play the four here. And so when I play these, uh, one thing, the lucky card gives me the plus 20 molts, so I gotta save the lucky card until the end of the round. Also, both of the nines break because I played the gold seal card earlier so that I could, you know, sort of move down the line. I know the glass card is gonna break now instead of, you know, earlier or later. All right, in the shop here, I want the, I've got a death card to go with my fool card. So let's go ahead and in the Arcana pack, let's look to use those. So here what I can do, I can take, well, you know, I have the four that I wanna get rid of. So we'll turn the four into an eight. But then also I do want to get rid of these eights at some point, you know, I've got plenty of eights here. Um, so it's fine for me to turn uh, just a regular eight into a glass eight. And then we have the justice card as well. So we'll make an extra glass card here. And so, yeah, I know you were a little bit uh, worried, you know, when we made the first uh, gold seal card and it broke right away, we do get death and then fool. And we have now we have three of them. And we'll actually, spoilers, uh, end up with more of them. It's fine. All right, next, what do we want to do? We want to re-roll here. Priestess gives us a Pluto. After using the Pluto, we can check the Celestial Pack for more Plutos. Turns out that there isn't one. Uh, but as a backup here, we can take Venus if we need. You know, if we lose the capability of making four of a kind maybe we can make three of a kind instead uh, i don't need this earth so i'm just going to re-roll once twice now i'm at a situation where abstract joker uh, could potentially give me a repeat it could give me a skip so i'm going to sell the juggler now you know with only 15 cards left in the deck i don't really need the extra hand size that much Pick up the abstract joker, re-roll one more time, and then I don't need the Mars card. Well, we'll use it. Now level five. Okay, uh, don't forget here to copy the burglar. And then don't forget to move it back onto the eight ball. Okay, what do we wanna do? We wanna play a pair? Okay, here's a pair of eights worth $20 and I got another death card again so here we go we can get rid of a five that takes us to uh, there's only one card left that's not an eight and that's this two which is gold all right play some eights it doesn't really matter that much now that they're all eights uh, we can just sort of play whatever eights that we want. All right, let's go ahead and make another glass card. All right, uh, I want to be, you know, somewhat selective here. Because now I'm in the territory, you know, if I have this abstract joker uh, and I've got my bus leveling up here, um, if I play my glass cards, you know, let's say I play these two glass cards together, or I play like three glass cards together, uh, it starts to be worth a decent amount of points. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play not just these two together, but I'm gonna play uh, this vanilla eight here. One glass card at a time. All right, now if I want uh, I can use this wheel and I have the opportunity to finally get rid of my last card that's not an eight. There we go, 100% eights. I'm going to play here. I'll show you what it looks like when I play uh, two glass cards. That's worth 800 points. So I can only do that so much. All right, now I don't need the abstract joker. 
so I can replace it with negative superposition. So, you know, in the previous shop, you know, we re-rolled a specific number of times because I knew judgment was coming up. I knew the next joker was going to be this negative. Uh, superposition isn't super useful to us, uh, but you know, just as a generic negative, you can sell it um, for money, or when we get to the final boss, you can also sell it, you know, just have an extra joker to sell. All right, what are we trying to do here? Uh, let's play our non-glass cards worth 400 points. Uh, I don't need these things anymore. If I play, you know, now all the cards that I have left over are glass. So if I play two glass cards, that's worth 700 points. Okay, I can't do that anymore. Um, I'm at the end here. And so since we are at the end, let's play four cards, you know, playing as many glass cards as possible. None of them break. All right, uh, in the shop, uh, once again, I have death and fool combination. So we'll go into the Arcana pack. Now I have only eights left in the deck. So I only have glass eights and regular eights. So we'll go ahead and we'll go uh, death here. Give me another one. And then uh, let's see here, what do I want? Uh, since I have the negative here, I have an extra joker slot. I can use judgment and get not just an egg, but a negative egg. So I also happen to know that next in the queue is another negative. We will buy Uranus here. Uh, by the way, if we buy the earlier egg, then we don't get the negative egg. And so that's why I wanted to pass on the egg. All right, Uranus here, re-roll for justice. We can make another glass card later. Re-roll again. We have a negative again. And then also Zany Joker here. We're just picking it up uh, so that it can give us a skip. Let's go one, two, three, four times. And then Celestial Pack. Finally, finally we find another Pluto card. And this Uranus that we just bought, we'll sell it. Blueprint on the Burglar. And then back onto the eight ball. All right, before we do anything here, I am going to make another glass card. And then here we will play as many pairs as we can, as many pairs of glass cards. Another pair. All right, we're at the point where we don't really have you know, we're trying to get rid of our cards. We don't want to be holding on to cards. So we don't need this devil. And I'm going to play now, instead of these gold seal glass cards, I'm going to play this glass card. Now it's time that one is going to break. Emperor gives me more stuff to sell. All right, let's play some non-glass cards so that I can draw this glass card. Which now I know is going to break also. All right, that takes us down to, we've got just 13 cards left in the deck. Most of them, you know, a majority of our cards, these gold seal uh, glass cards, because we've got so many death and fool cards. 
All right, here I'm going to sell the Empress and I have the option to make an Emperor, but we can do better. So I'm gonna hold on to the Fool and I'm going to play, let's go, pair of eights. One of them breaks, no problem. Now we have the Hermit. That I feel comfortable making an extra copy of. All right, now uh, we're at that point again where, you know, because all of our cards are glass, because all of our pairs are worth so many points, we have four hands left over, but we don't have enough score left over. And so we have to end the round now. Uh, before we end, we're going to play four of a kind, you know, just playing as many glass cards as possible so that we can break them. And then uh, I need to figure out Okay, which of these survives? Which of these breaks? What is the appropriate order? It turns out you put the eight of hearts on the end. And that eight of hearts is the one that breaks. Well, the fourth card is the one that breaks. So we made it the eight of hearts. All right, in the shop here, I already got the skip from the zany joker so I can replace it with the half joker. And then now that I've bought the half joker, I can use overstock to refresh. Uh, with the sun here, now we'll go arcana pack. And in the arcana pack, I'll just take this hermit. All right, we've got a lot of money, so we'll do some rerolls. Let's go reroll twice. Magician for Uranus. Reroll, okay, with all of these planet cards, I can find a Pluto card. Reroll two more times. Okay, now let's replace our half joker with a crazy joker. The next joker in the shop is another crazy joker. So if we re-roll uh, twice, crazy joker gets skipped. And then we can sell the crazy joker for the droll joker. And then, let's see here. Yep. I don't need these anymore. Copy our burglar. All right, now we've you know just got 11 cards left in the deck. You kind of see what the pattern is. We'll just kind of go through the motions here. Uh, play our glass cards, sell our tarot cards, play the glass cards again. Uh, I do get the hanged man, so I'll take the opportunity to get rid of these eights. Magician and Empress. Glass cards again. One of them breaks. That's good. We do want to break them. Down to eight cards left in our deck. Another pair of eights. Another break. Uh, Empress and Hierophant here. Another pair. Another break. And here we've got uh, 6,900, just barely under 7,000. All right, this Temperance I'm going to hold on to, and I'm going to play my eights. And get another break. Now, just five cards left in the deck. Okay, so with this 
temperance. What do I want to do? I want to go Arcana pack first. In the Arcana pack, uh, I could have a wheel. I could uh, have justice here to make another glass card, but I'm going to skip. Going to re-roll. Now here's a hermit. I could take it for $20, but I'm going to skip it because there's a fool here, uh, which means if I get rid of this empress and I use this fool, this fool will give me another hangman. So it just so happened it worked out. Uh, I'm not able to use this temperance because I know the fool is coming up. Uh, I'm not able to use that hermit because I know uh, this fool is coming up that gives me that hangman. Because that's what we're trying to do. You know, we have enough money, we have enough jokers here. Uh, really, we just want to get rid of our cards. And then, you know, of course, we can use the temperance after. All right, let's go re-roll. We get a constellation. So let's sell the Droll Joker for the Constellation. Reroll twice. Gives us Pluto. And then the next planet card is also Pluto. So if I open up the Celestial Pack, there we go, we get the Pluto again. And we can copy our Burglar here. All right, we're gonna move this to the left. Uh, we want it to be before our bus here, you know, cause we're getting too many points. Uh, with the hangman, I can go ahead and get rid of these eights. And then just play these until they break. I can even make an extra one. It breaks. This glass or this justice card, you know, my cards are already glass. Um, I'm actually gonna hold on to this for later. I'll tell you why later, but you know, for now we're gonna hold on to this justice card for some reason. And then to finish up here, play this eight, play this eight again. All right, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna open up the Arcana pack and this eight that's glass, it will break eventually. Um, it hasn't broken yet. You know, we were able to play it a couple of times, but it will break eventually. So in order to keep it from breaking, um, you know, I'm in anti four round 11. Uh, I do need to go through all of anti five. So I've got like four rounds left. So let's take this card and let's turn it into a bonus card. And so what that is doing is I know the next glass card will break. And so I'm gonna turn it into a regular card or actually a bonus card right now. And then that way I can play it to pass through and then win however many rounds I need to. And then on the final round, that's what this justice is for. I will turn it into a glass card at the very end. That's it. And then all of the rest of what we're doing, you know, now we've got the one card deck, all of the rest of what we're doing is now just increasing our score. So let's go re-roll Celestial. Uh, doesn't matter, it levels up our Constellation. Reroll. All right, now I don't need the eight ball anymore. So I'm gonna replace it with a half joker. And I'm going to replace this burglar. I actually don't need anymore. You know, my uh, high card is leveled up. So, you know, I'm gonna get 
a good amount of points. I don't need to play lots of hands. So I don't need this burglar. I'm gonna replace it with a juggler. All right, hear me out. Uh, it may look weird. You know, I have only one card in my deck. You know, why do I need the extra hand size? Uh, this is, again, just some shop manipulation. We can re-roll and then we'll stop there. All right, for the wheel, here's what it looks like. Here is my high card. Here it is again, my high card. And we can just do that for the next couple of rounds. All right, in the shop here, we're blessed with the crystal ball. So with this crystal ball, I can buy and I can hold on to this Mars card. Um, in the Arcana pack, um, there's not a whole lot of stuff that I need, but you know, I can always take a chance on a Wheel of Fortune. Uh, before we open the Celestial pack, let's re-roll. And then we'll go next. We'll hold on to these planet cards because I'm trying to get more Pluto cards so we'll block those from spawning. And then there we go. So because I picked up this half joker, that gave me a couple skips because I had this juggler that gave me a couple skips as well. And we are left with this polychrome. And so the polychrome, uh, I think it used to be like a polychrome scary face or something like that. And so by shifting the shop queue, I turned it into a polychrome ice cream instead. Uh, let's go Arcana. Fool if we want, you know, potentially another Venus or, you know, I could have done this in a different order to get another Pluto card. Um, I'm going to take the Hermit so that I can buy the ice cream. Uh, Celestial pack. Still no Pluto. Like I said, you know, there's a, there's a drought. There's not that many Pluto cards. All right, I want to sell these for not just the ice cream, but also the banner. I no longer need to discard. Actually, if I discard, I will die. Um, so, you know, we'll be able to take, pick up the banner here. All right, now how's my high card looking? All right, there we go. That's what we want. 20,000, 25,000 high card, just one high card. Okay, in here we can take the Arcana pack for some more money. We can re-roll. And then finally, after all that work, get a Pluto card. Now, uh, in order to make this stencil work, this stencil that we bought, you know, a long, long time ago, uh, I need to make room. Uh, I don't want to give up my constellation or my blueprint. I don't want to give up uh, either of these, you know, even my banner giving me the chips. And so I'm going to replace this stencil with a blackboard. And I'm going to, now we're in the you know the end here we just beat the big blind we just got the one more shop left so i'm going to sell the egg that way i can spread out my re-rolls i can re-roll once here for mercury and re-roll once twice here just so that i don't have to re-roll later all right so here we were before you know where the video started i can go ahead and play this High card, giving me 89,000 points. And then that's it, basically. We already have enough points. Uh, you know, we'll just 
you know, pile it on here and see what kind of high score we can get. Um, in the Arcana pack, now we're at the point where I'm ready to turn this into glass. And we can try the wheel. Picking up Neptune here. Now with all of these planet cards, show me Pluto. You already know, you know, we had level 10 high cards, so we already know that there's not gonna be a Pluto card. But we can still level up our constellation a little bit more. And with exactly $8 left, buy and use all these planet cards. All right, let's do the thing. Uh, how do we do the thing? Uh, we need to sell something. So let's sell this superposition and let's make the score as big as possible. So let's do this and that, and I think that's enough. Uh, 2.8, uh, that's 18 planet cards on the constellation. This is the deck, just the one card. Uh, 30, uh, 380,000 for a high card. And there we go, we've done it. Uh, we've got zero cards left in the deck. Unfortunately, we can't view it. 